Okay, so to make this ikan baka uh, stingray, okay, so we need some ingredients. Okay, so let's look at what are the things that we need to uh, have in order to make the paste first, okay. So I have a handful of dried chilies, chili kareng, and then four big onions. I have a bird eye chilies. Chili padis, Malaysian's favorite. Okay, so I have about eight, uh, but I, and I have about uh, nine uh, shallots. Okay, and then this is um, halia. Okay, and I have a bulb of uh, garlic. Okay, and then this is galangal or what we call as lengkuas in Malay. We have lemongrass, um, kunit. Okay, the the what you call that. The fresh turmeric, okay, and then we have blood chan, okay. I have soaked some uh, dried prawns here, or, or we call this as udang kering, okay. Uh, freshly cut stingrays here, okay. And then I need some daun kunit, okay, the turmeric leaf for me to, um, what you call that, wrap the stingray before we char grill this fish. Okay, so to make the paste, I'm going to put the chili kering and then the bird eye chilies. Uh, okay, big onion shallots, and I'm going to add in the galangal, okay, garlic, ginger. I'm going to add this blachan. Uh, fresh turmeric and the lemongrass okay, and finally I'm going to add the soaked dried shrimps okay perhaps I can add the water as well okay now we're going to add a cup of water or even more and then we're going to make a paste which I have blended just now so we are going to stir fry this paste by adding some seasoning okay so in a pan I've added a few tablespoons of uh, cooking oil and I'm going to add this paste okay, let us... I'm going to add half cube of um, anchovy paste okay because we're going to Season this paste. Okay, and then some salt. Okay, that's a little bit more. Okay. Um, this is jaggery powder. You can use um, brown sugar. You can use palm sugar. According to your preference. But this time, I use jaggery powder. This is homemade paste, yeah? So, we have to cook for about um, 10 minutes and then the paste is ready. Okay, so the paste is ready and then we are going to make a special sauce, okay, to be eaten together with this uh, char grill stingray okay so let's see how to make the sauce so these are the ingredients needed in order to make the special sauce okay so I need finely chopped uh, onions finely chopped um, tomatoes and then uh, we have chili padis here finely sliced chili padis okay but I'm not going to blend this okay but these are the ingredients to be blended so I have a uh, one um, big onion and then I have shallots, like about uh, five to six shallots. I am going to use one tomato and then some uh, bird eye chilies, but I'm going to use the green ones this time. Um, a little bit of blachan, uh, salt, jaggery powder uh, to add sweetness to the sauce. And then finally, this is curry sick. So this is another main ingredient in order to make the sauce, tamarind juice. 
Okay, so first of all, I'm going to add all these ingredients together. Together with the jaggery powder, the carisse, shallots, red onions, the green chili paddies, and with the carisse. Okay, now I'm going to add the tamarind juice, thick tamarind juice, and we are going to make a sauce. Okay, I'm going to try taste this first. Okay, so let's take the finely chopped onions and then the tomatoes and the chili. I'm going to add this together. Okay, then let's add the tamarind sauce. Stir this. And this is just too perfect to be eaten together with our char fried stingray, ikan baka. So to char grill our stingray, I need aluminum foil. And you can use banana leaf, but I am using turmeric leaf instead. It will give um, a different a taste or in fact aroma to give better aroma and taste for your stingray. Okay, so I'm going to add the paste here. Okay. You may also put some uh, patai, the stinky beans, or in fact okra, some lime juice and coriander for seasoning. If you don't like coriander, perhaps you can just use some other herbs to garnish or you can just let it char grill um, according to your wish. grilled now you know why we call this as char grill um, stingray okay can you see the charcoal down there so we're just going to cook this stingray um, with the heat We are going to char grill the stingray for the next 20 minutes and then uh, I'm going to show you the final look of the stingray and let's enjoy eating this. Char grill stingray is now ready and mm, well cooked. You can see that? Very soft. So to eat the stingray, I'm going to um, take a little bit of the tamarind um, sauce. Okay, together with the other ingredients like the tomatoes and chili. So I'm going to eat my stingray fish together with the sauce. Okay. Sour, spicy, sweet. It's definitely perfect dinner okay so i'm going to enjoy this so see you again with another dish